Hello, today we will discuss uh, axilla on the cadaver. We will have a brief discussion of the axilla, its boundaries and contents. In the contents, I will only focus on the axillary artery and its branches. So uh, to have this axilla dissection, already I have made incisions, reflected the skin, the superficial fascia, the pectoral fascia. Okay. Now this is a this is the axilla. Now axilla is nothing but that is a pyramid shape which is seen between the upper part of the arm and the lateral thoracic wall and this axilla has got the boundaries like it has got an anterior wall which is formed by pectoralis major, pectoralis minor and the clavipectoral fascia. The posterior wall of axilla it is formed by the latissimus dorsi, this is latissimus dorsi. Okay? So it is the posterior wall is formed by latissimus dorsi. Uh, the subscapularis muscle and teres major muscle. Then coming to the base, the base is formed by, this is the base, the base is formed by the skin, superficial fascia and the axillary sheath of fascia. Apex is directed upwards uh, towards the root of the neck and which, call, which is uh, also called as a cervico axillary canal. Now you can see here this is a pectoralis major muscle. I have reflected the pectoralis major muscle and this is the pectoralis minor, pectoralis minor muscle, pectoralis minor. Now this pectoralis minor muscle, it is crossing the axillary artery to make this artery into three parts. First part is proximal to the artery, this is the first part. Then after reflecting this, you can see this is the second part of axillary artery, which is behind the muscle. And this is the third part which is distal to the muscle. Okay. So here in the axilla we have the contents. The contents of axilla here we have are, we have this axillary artery and its branches. This is the axillary vein which is present inferomedially to the artery throughout its course. This is axillary vein. We have these are the cords and branches of brachial plexus, uh, the axillary group of lymph nodes. And we have this nerve, which is intercostobrachial nerve. This is intercostobrachial nerve, which is the second intercostal nerve, which will also supply to the skin of the medial aspect of the arm. This is the intercostobrachial nerve. This nerve, this is the nerve which is supplying to serratus anterior. Okay. So this muscle is the serratus anterior muscle, which uh, which has got eight digitations. So this is the long thoracic nerve or this nerve is also called as nerve of bell or sometimes it is also called as nerve to serratus anterior. We may also see this nerve, this one, this nerve, this is supplying to the, this muscle, this is latissimus dorsi. So this nerve is uh, the thoracodorsal nerve, this thoracodorsal nerve is also called as long, oh, sorry, nerve to latissimus dorsi which is a branch of the uh, posterior cord of brachial plexus. Okay. Now, the axillary artery and the brachial plexus are enclosed in a sheath which is axillary sheath which is derived from the prevertebral uh, layer of deep cervical fascia. Now the branches of axillary artery here. So this is the first part of axillary artery. In fact axillary artery it is a continuation of third part of subclavian artery from the outer border of the first rib to the lower border of teres major and this axillary artery this is the first part from the first part this is an artery can you see this here yeah this artery this is the superior thoracic artery so from axillary artery first part you get one branch which is superior thoracic artery and from the second part uh, which is just behind the muscle okay so this is first part just after reflecting pectoral is minor you are seeing the second part. From the second part you get two branches. This is the first branch, this one. This is the thoracoacromial artery. This thoracoacromial artery, it pierces as clavipectoral fascia and gives off four branches, one to the clavicle, one to the deltoid, one to the pectoral and one to the acromion process of the scapula. And this is the second branch which is lateral thoracic artery. Okay. So from second part you have thoracoacromial artery and lateral thoracic artery. Then from the third part, 
from the third part of axillary artery we get three branches let me clear this branches of brachial plexus yeah this branch this branch is subscapular artery this is a subscapular artery and this subscapular artery also gives off a branch which is called as this is circumflex capillary artery circumflex capillary artery apart from this subscapular artery this third part also gives off two branches if you see here this this one this is anterior circumflex humeral artery this one this is the posterior circumflex humeral artery so these are the three branches arising from the third part of the axillary artery apart from these structures you also see one more nerve this is the axillary nerve which is the branch of the posterior cord of brachial plexus which is accompanying this artery this artery can you see this one this is the post this is the posterior circumflex humeral artery along with this you see the axillary nerve these axillary nerve and this will move through the quadrangular space and it will supply to the deltoid muscle and as well as teres minor so these are the contents of the axilla thank you